there's a renewed interest in wool as a renewable natural fiber. A very good shearer learns quickly how to shear an animal in a pattern, always the same way, to try to make the uh, fleece come off, ideally in one big piece. I shear all different breeds of sheep here, like unreal amounts of different breeds of sheep, from Icelandic to Shetlands, like today, to even fine wool sheep, um, and all the different breeds. I'm Don Metherall, and I'm a full-time custom sheep shearer here in Ontario. The best I placed was 18th in the world out of 60. I was pretty happy with that. Canada only has 700,000 sheep, so and we're competing against places like New Zealand and Australia that have millions of sheep. It's my sport. I do it competitively. And uh, so when, it, when you make it like that, it's not real work. And what is shearing is removing the fleece from a sheep. And that's all I do is take the wool off and then somebody takes it from me and uh, then they put it over a table and then into the wool bags. So this is an amazing, beautiful fleece. And when I look at this, this is from one of my rams there would be probably a good six pounds of fiber here. And the crimp, the staple, the size of this fleece is spectacular. By choice, I farm Shetland sheep, which are predominantly raised for their fiber. Their wool is highly prized and very fine. This is from an eight-year-old ram. So his fleece is still as spectacular this year as it always has been. So that tells me we did a good job raising him this year. Our farming practices are working really well. We sort of know what we're doing. And I'll be excited to see who buys this fleece and what they do with it. And to see the clippers glide through the wool with the long strokes going up the back when it glides right up the back and no effort no nothing to just see quality wool come off the sheep i love wool yeah i wear it all the time i like how it breathes and you know it wicks off your perspiration and stuff i wool socks that's all i wear is wool socks as of right now i've been at it for 37 years a few years ago i was in new zealand i sure in 36 days, I shore 12,600 sheep and likely didn't even put on 10,000 kilometers. See in the new generation of farmers, some of the kids were babies when I started cheering for them and now they're having babies and they're still on the farm and taking over from the mom and dad. And it's quite enjoyable to watch that actually, really enjoyable. My father-in-law at the time, Colonel Daly, found out about the endangered Shetland sheep he was interested in all endangered animals, and so was I. So we were already very much in that trend. He was the first person ever given permission to export a shipment of 32 Shetland sheep from Great Britain. And we brought them to Canada, put them in an old barn, and I helped him take care of them from the very beginning. This is 43 years later. There are more than 1,800 flocks of Shetland sheep in North America. And I'm proud to say that they all originate from this flock. My mother was a beautiful knitter, and we all wore knit toque, knit sweaters, uh, all of our lives. Wool is what I choose to wear all the time. And one of my favorite things that makes my day is when eventually somebody will send me a photo of what they made from one of these fleeces. That's just like so exciting for me. It's unbelievable. So this is why I do what I do. This is my answer right here.